What is up guys, this is Wolfpack Gaming here, and in today's video we're going to be playing some um, Titan 4, um, but first of all we're going to be doing some trading, training, so for this episode we're going to be doing the training part for the tutorial, and I know many of you have um, seen the tutorial, but I just wanted to feel like doing it today, eh, I feel like doing it today, so um, let's go to the training, and we go full training. So we got to go to the full training, and then we go into the loading screen. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day. It's really nice out. It's nice and sunny out here today. Uh, it's like meant to be like 26 degrees on a winter's day. It's quite awkward, but and like I went to go check the weather this morning. It was like 99% humidity, and um, yeah, I was just like, wow, shit, damn it. So yeah, we're going to loading screen. Even yeah. So this is on the definitely on the PC version of um, Titan 4. I know they're they're on other platforms and all that, but um, I decided to play it on the PC version since I don't really play PC games much. But um, yeah, so we're going to go through the tutorial and all that sort of stuff, and then yeah, and, and let's wait for this to load up, and we we'll get right there. Right, I think it's all loaded, and right, okay. This unit is authorized for military use only. All right. Mm -hmm. Possession by an individual is a class one felony. Mm. Press R. Welcome to the Hammond Pilot Certification Simulator. Warning: unregistered user detected. Key accepted. Training pod is authorized. Welcome, pilot. Mm. To so calibrate this the is AR display, please look at each of the red lights. Would you like to reverse the vertical look input? Please confirm your selection by looking at each of the lights again. If these settings are comfortable, click yes. Otherwise, nah, click no to I'm calibrate not. again. Please confirm your selection by looking at each of the lights again. Yes. Visual calibration complete. Simulator initializing. What the hell? Green stuff? <laughs> oh my god. So, I think this is the first tutorial we're going to be getting started with. Okay. You are free to move around the simulation. Please walk through the tunnel in front of you. Sprint through the tunnel. Oh, please. We're going to make it. Beat the closing doors by sprinting. Please, don't move. Please, 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 please. Oh, thank God I've jump made it. over the obstacle. For greater distance, jump while sprinting. That was a close one. Jump toward the edge of a surface to pull yourself up. That's pretty interesting. As a pilot, your most important piece of gear is your jump kit, which allows you to run on walls. Wall run across the gap to proceed. Wall runs can be chained together to travel farther. Try jumping from one wall run directly into another. Well that was done. pretty easy. Uh. Number three. Use sprinting, jumping, and wall running to make your way to the exit. Whoa, that was freaking close. Completion requirements met. That was a quick one, actually. <laughs> Jump kids, extend your natural jumping ability. You can jump once more after leaving the ground. To cover even more distance, wait longer before starting the second jump. Double jump and mantle into the hole above to proceed. Number five. That was pretty simple. Uh, as you go, I think it gets harder, I, I think. Uh, Use wall running and double jumping to make your way to the exit.
What the hell is crazy? Man? Excellent navigational skills, pilot. Cloak. I guess what it says. Cloaking, making yourself nearly invisible, is essential to pilot survival. To get past the sentries, cloak first, then move through the area quickly. Well done. Cloaking does not last forever. Look at your cloak meter on the bottom left of your screen to monitor your remaining cloak time. That's actually a good feature, actually. In closed quarters situations, you can kill silently with a melee attack. Get close to the target to melee. If you melee an opponent from behind, you will perform an execution. Meleeing an enemy from the front can be faster, but carries more risk of death. Yes. To continue, please pull your weapon. The weapon is empty. Load a fresh magazine. This is the smart pistol, an auto-targeting weapon. Get close enough to a valid target and the smart pistol will start locking on. Wait for a full lock before pulling the trigger. Use your smart pistol to neutralize the target. Target eliminated. The smart pistol can lock on to more than one target. Eliminate all of the targets with your smart pistol. Targets neutralized. Some enemies, especially pilots, require multiple locks to kill with one trigger pull. Kill the pilot with your smart pistol. Target down. That was easy. <coughs> Switch to your rifle. To take a more calculated shot, you can aim down the sights of your weapon. Destroy all of the targets in the shooting range. Targets neutralized. Number nine. Oh, these are pretty simple. Throw a grenade into each of the windows. Four out of four. Nicely done. Pretty simple. Combat scenario initialized. Destroy all opposition in the area. Your mini-map is located in the upper left corner of your AR display. Look for the small dots on your mini-map to find all the enemy troops. Wow, it's a pretty good map. Minimal damage sustained during live fire exercise. Well done. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titanfall imminent. Titans will not take substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Destroy the Titan with your anti-Titan weapon. For this certification, death simulation has been disabled. As a pilot, when your view screen tints red, you are close to death. Avoid taking damage for a short time, and your health will restabilize. Once the red tint on your screen fades away, you have fully recovered. All right. Good job. 
Taking on a Titan is very dangerous, even with the right weaponry. Pilots earn credit towards their next Titan drop by engaging in combat. Once your Titan is built, you can drop your Titan onto the battlefield. To continue, please initiate Titanfall. Look to the sky to watch your Titan fall into battle. Get close to your Titan to mount up. Titans are designed to be a natural extension of the pilot. Firing your Titan's primary weapon is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles mm, arriving in drop pods. <clears throat> Oh. Come here, come here, come here. Excellent. Combat scenario complete. I used to, I actually have this I just forgot I actually have this game on Xbox One. Hm. Forgot about that. <coughs> I have to say it runs Titans better on a PC. Laterally to perform fast directional changes. To proceed, please dash in any direction you like. Dash to your right. The dash meter is located beneath the crosshair on the Titan cockpit display. Each blue box represents one dash. Dash backwards. Dash forward. Good job. Please proceed to the exit. Titans frequently dash to avoid threats in combat. Move down the hallway while avoiding the rockets. Oh, oh my god, here we a fright. Can I do that again? That was a pretty difficult one. We got through that one. To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. This weapon absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time, then refires them. Skilled pilots often disembark from their titans on the battlefield. To continue, disembark from your titan. Head into the control room to open the gate for oh your my. titan. He looks sick. I just remembered I used to play this on um, Xbox One. But I don't really like it on that one. I actually really like it on the PC actually. It's pretty good. Um, what do I do now? <coughs> Pilots can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be toggled to follow you or guard its current location. 
The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. Put your Titan into follow mode and it will follow you through the gate. When your Titan is in follow mode, it will try to stay close to your position. Get close to your Titan and re-embark. To continue, pilot your Titan to the exit. Titans also carry offhand weapons into combat. These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the rocket salvo. Try firing your rocket salvo now. Be sure to deploy offhand weapons to maximize your firepower in combat. Prepare for your final combat test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. Each Titan has a shield that deflects incoming damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shields will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their Titan's shields in combat, taking breaks to recharge as necessary. Wave survived. What the Prepare hell? Prepare for the next wave. Next wave incoming. Be advised. Enemy Titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. Your Titan's health bar status is located at the top center of your HUD. Notice that when your health bar goes down, it will not replenish. Once your health bar is depleted, your Titan is doomed to die shortly. Titan is critically damaged. Combat veterans refer to this as doomed state. Your Titan will inevitably self-destruct once it is doomed. When you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. Excellent. Your pilot combat certification is complete. And I think... I think that might be about it. Okay. For your safety, please stay in the training pod to regain your equilibrium. All hands, listen up. We're five minutes out from Horizon Station. Pilots, this is your stop. You got ten minutes to collect your gear and get off my boat. Welcome to the frontier. Alright guys, um, so that was the tutorial I think, I guess from Titan 4. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this episode. Um, next episode I'm going to do probably a multiplayer game and yeah, make sure to um, like my Facebook page Facebook page, and um, subscribe for more videos and also I'll be doing a f um, full setup video. <coughs> Sorry, I'll be doing a full setup, gaming setup of my computers and all that sort of stuff. And um, I'll see you guys in another video.